Hello all my viewers. My name is Abhijit Sengupta. I have around 10 plus years of experience in Oracle Identity and Access Management. During my professional careers, I have done a lot of OIM advanced level development and that includes OIM UI customization using ADF. So I have decided to share all my knowledge and experience with all of you. Here I am creating a series of video tutorials on how we can customize the Oracle Identity Manager user interface using ADF. Here are the agenda of the video tutorials. Here I'll be covering three projects, okay? And I'll be also showing that how to execute these projects. The first projects where I'll be creating a new tile applications on OIM. In the second project, I'll be showing how we can customize the Oracle Identity Manager forms such as application instance forms or the user forms or the catalog forms, etc. In the third project, I'll be creating the custom components on OIM interface and I'll be adding a backend functionality on those components. And all these will be done through ADF. So for all these three projects, we need to perform some prerequisite task and that is the environment setup. So the environment setup will be required for all three projects. So now let's get started. To set up the environment for OIM ADF customization, you need JDeveloper. So let me open the JDeveloper. And I've used uh, JDeveloper 11.117 most of the time. So you can also use the different version of JDeveloper 11.116 or 11.119. Okay, so once the JDeveloper is open, you have to create an application. For each and every ADF customization project, you have to create an application. The application in JDeveloper, which creates a Java workspace. The Java workspace is a platform where you can create Java projects. So let me first create an application here. Click on the file, and then click on new. And under the application category, we have to select Fusion Web Application ADF. So this is the application we normally create for any OIM customization. Once you select it, click on OK. And then you give the application name. Then you give the directory. The directory where this application folder will be created and under this application folder all the application related files and the projects will be copied so whatever the directory is selected here i will keep the default then i will click on next it will create a project name model so adf works with the mvc architecture the model view controller framework so this project this particular project model project which refers to the model okay and then the another project it will also create which is a view controller which is a combined combination of view and controller framework okay so by default when you create the adf application basically the fusion web application it will create two projects by default one is model one is view controller so the first option is a model you can keep the same name whatever is displaying here or you can change the name as well here but i will go with the default name and you can keep all the other default settings here then you click on next this will show you the default packages okay so it will start with model and uh, i'm not creating any further packages so i'll be doing it once i will create the actual applications here so for the time being i will keep the default click on next then this is a view controller project. I keep the uh, default settings here. Click on next. This is the view package details and I will keep it default. And then I click on finish. That will create the application for me. Okay. So now the application is created. So you can close this window. I don't need this. And this application is created the Java workspace. The name of the Java workspace is test OIM tile application and under this workspace ADF uh, the JDeveloper created two default projects model and view controller. 
So altogether, it's you know following the MVC architecture. Okay. Now the next step would be adding the OIM ADF library files into these projects. So all these OIM ADF library files are located in the OIM servers. So for that, we have to connect to the OIM server using an FTP tool, and then we have to copy all the OIM ADF library files into our local machine. So I'm opening WinSCP, and then I will connect my OIM server. So once it is connected, I have to go to OIM home. So after OIM home, I have to go to server. And from here, I need to copy some directories into our local machine. So in my local machine, I'll go to the proper directory where I will copy my files. And I will create a blank folder here in my local machine. Let's say give a name. And under this blank folder, I will copy the library files from YM server. So first of all, I will copy jdev.leaf directory. Then I will copy the client directory. then ext directory and then module directory So once your directories are all copied, you have to go to JDeveloper and then you have to add these library files here. Before I'm adding it into the project, let me show you the structure of these uh, library files. I'll go to the directory where I have copied the library files. Here if you open jdev.lib, you will find three dot library files. One is the client library which one the the one this is for connecting the oim as an application from a third party applications like the whatever the project or adf application will be creating it will communicate with oim servers then we have the model shared library this is basically for creating model projects and then we have view shared library this is basically for creating view controller projects Okay. Now, if I open this library files in a notepad or text editor, you can see the reference of all the jar files from the, the directories that we have copied from OIM servers. So as you can see, the path is mentioned one step back and then from under the module directory, these are all the jar files. Okay. So similarly, you can find the same in other two library files. But you have to make sure that all these four directories, you have to copy it under the same folder. So now we have to go to the JDeveloper. And now I'll be adding the library files into the project. So I will right click onto the view controller project. I'll go to project properties. And in the project properties, I'll click on library and class path. Here I click on add libraries. And then I will click on load directory and I will select the directory where I have copied all the library files. Under the OIM libraries, I have to select jdev.lib because under the jdev.lib, we have the dot library files. Okay, so once I select it, so it loads all three library files. So I have to add all three library files into the project, view controller project. Now click on OK. So all three library files are added in view controller project. So I will 
explain you why I have added all three under the view controller project. Let me first also add the library files into the model project. Then I will explain why I have added different library files into different projects. Now in the model project, I right click and go to the project properties. Similarly, click on add libraries and I have already added the directories. And from here, I will only add the client library and the model shared library because the model shared library is basically for the model project and view shared library is for the view project but in the view controller project we also add the model shared library because sometime we use only the view controller projects to create our whole oim customization okay so even though the adf creates two projects for me sometime we don't need these two projects for the customization we can use the view controller projects mostly but if we want to create the structured way of the customization project then we should use both the projects model and view controller so now the all the library files are added into the projects now the next one is we have to add the dependencies now as you can see here, there are two projects, model and view controller. So the final output will be generated from the view controller project. So the output files should also contain the reference of the model project, because if I create some files or the class files in the model project, then this class file reference should also refer to the view controller project. So for that, I have to right click, go to the project properties, and there is an option called dependency. If I select the dependency, by default, it automatically adds the model project output files. So if you, don't, if you don't see this model project is added here, let's say, for example, if I delete this project here, now it is empty. If you see something like this, then you have to add the model project output files here. Not only for the model project, let's say, for example, if you create one another custom projects okay which let's say uh, perform like a custom applications and you want these applications features into the view controller project then apart from the view controller project all other projects output you have to add under the view controller project so if you don't see anything here you have to click on the pencil icon then apart from view controller project all other projects will be listed down here so you have to add the output of those project under the view controller project. So for this, I expand the model project. Then you can find the build output. You have to select this one and click on OK. So you can see the model project is been added. The build output is added here. So if you click OK, so your dependencies are added in the view controller project. Now you create a file under the model project. And if you build the whole project from the view controller project, the reference of your model project will be included here. Done. So now the third settings that we will be doing is creating the deployment profile. The deployment profile will determine what type of output will be generated by this project. Now, OIM only accepts ADF library jars for all UI customizations. Okay, so apart from this ADF library jar, it will not going to accept any other format of output. So let's see that what kind of deployment profiles we can see under the view controller project. I right click on it, go to the project properties. If I go to the deployment option, so we can see a default deployment profile is automatically added once we created the application. And this is a word file. So that means if I build this view controller project, it will give me an output as a word file, but we don't need word file here. Okay, so we can delete this, but we have to now create a new deployment profile, which will create ADF library jar as an output. So for that, I click on new. From the archive type, I select ADF library jar files. Then you can give a name here, but I prefer to keep the default name, whatever has been selected by the system, which is nothing but ADF lib. It's a prefix of ADF library jar and then the application name and followed by a number. Okay, so click OK. 
and then it will ask for the library dependencies from the other project and that we already done in step two so we can cancel this so as you can see the new deployment profile has been created which will give the output as adf library jar files now click on ok so now your environment is ready for starting a project so in the next video i will be starting with creating a tile application in oim and i will be using this platform and this particular environment whatever just now i have set it up here okay so thank you for watching